Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm taking a look at a new plugin called Fluent Affiliate. As the name implies, this is a plugin for running an affiliate program. People who are course creators, selling products, even people doing consulting may want to have an affiliate program. They are very popular online in many markets, including in WordPress. It's possible in the WordPress space, 15 to 20 percent of sales, or maybe even more, are due to affiliate programs. This is the website, fluentaffiliate.com. We're going to do a walkthrough of the features in the video, so I won't look at those now. But here are the integrations. Fluent Affiliate is launching with a number of integrations. WooCommerce, SureCart, FluentCart, and Easy Digital Downloads. FluentCart is brand new. It's launching later this month, and I imagine it's going to also become very popular. In addition to those plugins, there's also integrations with Fluent Forms, Fluent CRM, Fluent Booking, then LearnDash, Lifter, and Tutor. These are the learning management plugins that are supported. I think Tutor and maybe LearnDash are still under development. We'll be able to take a look at that when we go into the dashboard. Then there's integration for Paymatic, for MemberPress, Paid Membership Pro, Give, and Voxel. Okay, so plugin is launching with a lot of integrations. Then I also wanted to show you on the website, even though this is a new plugin, there's already a lot of documentation here. Okay, so that's a good resource as you're setting the plugin up. I have here a demo website for testing. The idea is there's a bird watcher community. We can go to the community portal here. And you see that there is a class for learning bird photography. And lo and behold, if we go to the shop, here is a product for the birding photography course. If we go into the WordPress dashboard, I have a bunch of Fluent plugins installed here. I've been testing and setting these up. Here's the free version of Fluent Affiliate, which is on the WordPress plugin directory. This is the pro version, which I'm using. Here's the Fluent Cart, the free version, and the pro version of that. I've gotten a copy of Fluent Cart Pro early to test. It's going to launch later this month. Then I've got the Fluent Community plugins and Fluent CRM, and I'm using Cadence. So that's what I've got installed here. In the Fluent Cart, I'm just going to show you here's that birding course. It sells for $100. When you have Fluent Affiliates installed and activated, you get this admin area. There's a menu down the side and that's repeated across the top so navigation is easy. The dashboard has an overview kind of of your stats and how you're doing. Here are the recent referrals, the top affiliates, you know it's a demo site. I only have one active affiliate right now. The total unpaid referrals, the active affiliates, the total visits, the total referrals, the conversion rate, the pending affiliates, there's someone who's applied, hasn't been accepted yet, and then the order total for the referrals. And then there's a graph here that you can take a look at and adjust the dates for. Here are the affiliates. If you had a long list of them, you can filter by their status. See, I've got Pippa is active and Christy is pending. Here you can edit and delete. So if we wanted to, we could approve Christy there. When you look at an affiliate, you see this data here, which is very similar to what they see in their affiliate dashboard. Their activity person doesn't have any because they haven't been approved. 
But then on the side here, this is the information they filled out in their affiliate application. Okay, let's go back to the affiliates and let's look at the active one. So here you can see the stats, the referrals, the visits, and the payouts. Here's referrals. So you can see those and see who you might need to pay. These are the payouts. We haven't made any yet. So when you do a payout, let's put in a title, test payout, and we'll select the affiliate here, and we'll put in the dates. There's for minimum payout amount, and let's see. All right, and so here is the information. We would then confirm the payout. I think currently the payments are manual, but you use this to generate the reports. I think you can also have an email go out. That's the payouts. Then these are the list of visits, and it shows the conversions and the ones that didn't convert. Then the settings area, this is where you do most of the work for setting it up. This first page, you have the term that you're going to use or the variable you're going to use in the URL for the affiliate ID. So here it's set to ref. You can have that variable be the ID or the WordPress username. You can set the percentage rate or a fixed flat rate. Set the currency. You see there are lots of currencies in there the number format, the currency symbol position, whether the sale is attributed to the first cookie for that person or the last cookie, the duration for the cookie. Then this is, you set up a page so the affiliates can go and see their information and have their portal for signing up, put in a short code, so I've created that page. You would click here and then you can search for your page. And you can, this is the preview of what it looks like, but we'll be going and looking at it again in just a few minutes. Then you can exclude shipping and tax from the total that the affiliate commission is calculated on. You can disable self-referral and you can also allow affiliate commission on subscriptions, which is nice for affiliates. Then you can set up groups of people. Maybe you have several people from the same platform that are active, or you want to put them in groups because they have different commission structures. Then the integration settings. This is really important to turn on an integration or it's not going to work. <laughs> okay, and so here's the list. Oh, yeah, so it's Tutor LMS and Learn Dash are the ones that they're still working on. But like I said, they have a lot of integrations for launch. Here we can have the settings enable affiliate integration with Fluent Cart. Then you can have branded coupons for affiliates. So that's nice. You can use their company name or something. So they have a coupon rather than a generic coupon. And you can disable referrals on upgrades. And you can enable custom rate for specific products or categories. If we go over to Fluent Cart just for a minute to the coupons, I just wanted to show you that. Here's where you would set up the coupon. I'm not going to set up one here right now. But this is where you would select the affiliate when you're creating a special one for the affiliate. So that's the integration that we have there for Fluent Cart. And then email notifications. These are global type options here. And then these are the individual emails that are sent, new affiliate sign up, new sale notification, 
affiliate application pending, affiliate account approved, new sale. So this is when there's a sale, the affiliate gets notified if they've checked that option. And then, yeah, okay, this is the notification when there's a payout that we looked at in that last area. Okay, you can accept the default of the email as the company has set them up, or you can totally customize it yourself. And there are lots of, they call smart codes here, with information from the affiliate program, from user data, or from site data, so that you can create those emails and let them make sense. These are the registration settings. You can turn off and on registration. You can require admin approval. If this is unchecked, then people are auto-approved. Then these are the fields on the sign-up form. And then this is the terms and conditions. This did not have a link on it by default. And what I did is I created a page for the affiliate agreement. And I just added this link here to that page. Okay, so that people can see the terms and conditions when they're signing up. Then we have migration. Currently, I think the only migration is from Affiliate WP. This is where you enter your license for the plugin. And then domain management, that's interesting. What happens if you have your store on a subdomain? and your main site with your blog and information about your products and everything is on the main domain or another domain. Well, you can learn about that here and this will take you, there's a GitHub plugin that you install and configure on the other website. When you do that, it allows the tracking to occur. And so when people hit that website first, then the affiliate ID, if there is one, is going to be counted. So you turn this on for those situations. Okay, so that's a look at the settings and the options that we have here. I'm in Comet Web Browser here. Let's go to another web browser to Brave. And we'll look at that site then in another web browser. Oops, let's go back. Let's go to affiliates. Let's find our active affiliate. And let's grab an affiliate ID here so we can test that out. Okay, I'm going to paste that in. And a user is coming to the community. They go to the shop and they purchase the birding photography course. And so we'll do a name here and purchase the course. Okay, the only payment method I've set up on this test site is cash, just so, you know, I don't have to set up a Stripe account or PayPal account for the sake of testing. Here's the item we're purchasing for $100. Place the order, and it tells us the payment's pending because it's a manual payment. All right, so let's go back then to our other browser and let's go to Fluent Car Orders. And here is Chris's order. So let's approve that. Okay, so the order is approved. Let's go to Fluent Affiliates, and we see Pippa has now gone from two orders to three, gone from $40 to $60. That's been successful. We can look at the referrals. Here's Pippa's latest referral. 
and we see the Chris McCann information here all within Fluent Affiliate so you can verify and check what the referral was on and here you can click to go to the integration to Fluent Cart. I've got set up that a user is created on the order so a user account was created for Chris. Let's see what are some other things I can show you. Oh yeah if we refresh this and you see that it's been paid. As you probably know but just in case you don't what's happened here is that Fluent Affiliate has added near the bottom of the page here is the JavaScript for Fluent Affiliate and it's actually added that JavaScript automatically on all of the pages for the website. Now if Pippa the affiliate logs in then this is what the affiliate dashboard looks like. So the affiliate can see, like I said, it's very similar to what the admin sees. You can see the total of the conversion rate, the unpaid referral amount, the recent referrals. Here's their link. Uh, here they can generate a link or get you know, the default link or the ones that have already been generated. Here are the referrals. Here are the payouts, here are the visits, and here are the settings where they can set their PayPal address and they can check to say they want to get an email when there is a referral sale. That's what the dashboard looks like. Let's log out. So let's go to that affiliate page again. Okay, and this time let's have someone who's not an affiliate log in. I think this user has an account. Let's log in as someone who's not an affiliate so you can see what the form looks like for signing up. Yeah, so here is where you register then. You have your name, your email address, you tell about yourself how you promote the product, your website, your PayPal and you check to agree to terms and conditions and this is the link that I set up there for that. So that's the walkthrough of the Fluent Affiliate plugin, this new plugin from WP Manage Ninja. They are using it on their own website. They have a number of plugins, they have a number of affiliates and it's very active. Everything I've seen, it's very smooth. It has all the features that you would expect. Quite a few integrations for launch. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.